Here they are, a real set in the flesh, the Nothing Ear One. I just did an unboxing and a test with these in my ears to see how they sounded. Let's check it out. Okay, the transparency mode was only working in this ear, but now it seems to be working in both ears. I had stopped working again. So here I have the Nothing Ear One still in the plastic. Let's get this unboxed. Very vibrant colors here on the packaging. And there's a pull tab right here. Well, that was anticlimactic. There we go. That seems to be working. Okay. And then here, a little silver cardboard box. And there is the ear one. Documentation set up. Type C cable, I assume that's for charging. Uh, it's just a pretty standard Type C cable, nothing special there. And tips, small and large. Uh, you can tell it's a standard tunnel instead of one that has a plastic ring on it. Now here you can have a good look at the Ear One. The magnetic case is actually pretty decent. This opens and closes very easily. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fly open. See magnets on the bottom to hold the individual ear pieces in. Very unique styling that seems to kind of be the main theme of this entire product is kind of the style of it. But what I care most about is the sound, so let's take these, hook them up to my phone, and see what they sound like. Okay, the transparency mode was only working in this ear, but now it seems to be working in both ears. I had stopped working again. Okay, now it's noise canceling in this ear. Now it's noise canceling in both ears. Now we're back in transparency mode, okay. Transparency mode's working again. I can hear things around me, not super clear or anything, but it is working. I've been listening to some music on this. I had to re-pair them because when I paired them with the app first, then the phone wouldn't recognize them for music. I just went back to noise canceling. Okay, I'm gonna take these out. The design is pretty cool. Um, they don't sound that good. They sound like your average bass and treble boosted in-ear monitor under, say, $50, $60. The tech features are very cool, the case is very cool. I'm going to test these more extensively, but if you're thinking these are gonna be incredible for sound quality, they're really not. Things like the Moondrop Sparks definitely sound a lot better than these do, uh, but these have cool tech features, so I'm gonna test and benchmark the active noise canceling. I'm going to test and benchmark the transparency mode. I'm going to take frequency response measurements of this, all kinds of stuff, and I'll come back to you guys with a full review of the, gosh, I almost said OnePlus, Nothing Ear One. But based off of what I've seen so far, I would say Nothing Ear One is nothing new, if not a fashion product. It is cool to have all these features at something of this price point. Certainly sacrifices had to be made, I'm sure, in terms of sound quality and the quality of those individual features. It is what it is. It's a $99 wireless earbud. It's not going to be great. So we'll see how it is in the full review. So make sure you guys stick around for that. That'll probably be coming in a few weeks. See you then. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you liked this video, please leave a like down below, a comment letting me know what you want to see in the future. If you want to get active in the community, you can at forum.hifiguides.com. As always, don't forget to stick around, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Till next one, guys. Peace.